How's it going guys, it's Najam, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you Hyperland. Hyperland is a tiling window manager which doesn't skimp on effects and as you can see I've got some effects going on. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the configuration. I'm going to show you my config and show you what you can do with it. So the configuration is under uh, .config hyper and then here it is. And I'm just going to show you the configuration, uh, which I really just want to point out the the customizations. Um, so we have starting off under general, uh, we've got gaps in a gap, so you can change this to 20 and they will change the in the gaps. And as you can see, looks really, really cool. I'm going to switch it back to 10. Uh, now, way back down here has its own separate gap at the bottom. And so that's why I'm going to have to switch, change it in Weber configuration as well so that's separate and then you have the outer gaps over here which I've changed to 15 which is the same as Weber's but I can change the change it to like 50 or so and you can actually see looks really cool uh, and then you've got the border size which I've got a border on so that you can see the yellow bits over here you can change that to 5 which is awesome and then 1 we can, we can barely see that 2 is really cool uh, I'd like to have two, but I have the scaling a different on this monitor, so I just keep it at four. And then you have the color of the borders over here. So this is inactive, which means um, we're using a 75% opacity on this one, which is just a yellow color, and that is um, the unfocused windows that have the border. And I suppose you can change that. Um, but I don't really want to, that's, that's fine the way it is. We can make it red, I suppose. Red would look pretty cool. And I'm using only RGB on the other active border. Now, this one actually has a gradient. So if you look at it from the top, you have a different color and it goes down to another one. But I've um, got it the same color because I don't want it to do an animation. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually just go ahead and do... I'll change it so you can see the difference and you got the angle over here and now this as you can see is actually spinning around because I've got an animation on it and you got the layout which is the window we'll talk about that in just a second um, the animation is down here which is border angle so you have border angle animation and then you have the border itself which is when you switch one window to another it changes the um, color and how much it fades in uh, we're gonna change this back to the way we had it because I don't want it like this is just way too vibrant. It does look nice though. I can go ahead and show you. As you can see, it's just blinking, almost blinking, which is very cool. Now I've moved over from Sway to uh, Hyperland, um, and this is an automatic window tiler, which is pretty cool. But it follows the mouse cursor. So if I go down here and open another window, it'll open it there. If I want to open it on that side, I can do that. Or if I want to open it on this side, I can do that. And I'd say, honestly, I think this is more like a semi-automatic tiling window manager because you can open windows, um, you know, where following the mouse, which is actually very, very cool. But A is a uh, window layout. So you do have the master as well, the master and stack layout. I'll just use the window. It, looks, it works for me. So this is the one I use. And now you have some decoration. Uh, you can change the rounding on the edges. So I'm going to just go ahead and make this in three. And you can see the rounded corners. This is actually the reason I started using Hyperland and moved over from Sway. Uh, you can try different ones. I've stuck to 25 because it, it seems to work a lot better for me compared to the other ones. Although that looks pretty nice as well. And, go back. and you got um, multi sample which just uh, makes the edges look better. I suppose I can say no, and it will also do that. So as you can see, it's a bit ed um, a bit pixelated, but um, you can also have blur. So now I'm gonna change this to turn it off. Uh, and you got the blur on the windows off now, which is that looks pretty cool actually. <laughs> uh, so there's the wallpaper. You can, that actually looks pretty cool. If you have a really complex wallpaper, which is what I had, it doesn't look as nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to another window. And what I'll do is, I'll actually turn on MPV paper. And 
But it's, I suppose having no blur doesn't really look that bad. If we go down here, you can see the live wallpaper at the back, which is awesome. It looks really, really cool. And no, that actually doesn't look that bad. I've blurred this out myself, so. Well, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put that back on. I'm gonna cancel that. Let's put this back on. Yeah, and you can see the blur, you can change the size of it as well. Let's go ahead and change it to one. That looks really nice. And you can choose how much passes it does a different blur and that. I mean, that looks pretty cool as well. If you want extra, extra blurry bits. Now, one thing I don't like is, um, it's just a bit weird in the shadows. If I go ahead and float this and I make it uh, uh, smaller. Um, if I hover off it, you can see that I can see through the windows and it doesn't show the windows at the back. And that's because... I have uh, this on or this one. Now the problem is, um, oh, it seems to have. And if I do no on this, oh, it seems to have fixed itself. And I think I know what the problem is. I think it might be the scaling on the windows, but it did show the. It did show a shadow at the back of the corner over here, which looked very, very annoying. So, uh, I just sort of turned it off, but it, whatever, you just leave it at that. Um, you've got x-rays, you've got, you know, opacity and everything. You've got optimizations, which I had on. I've always had on. Wait for turn them off, you can see the difference in that. And you also got the shadows as well, so I can turn this off and it's going to turn the glow off on the windows, which uh, as you can see, it doesn't look as nice anymore. Uh, you can change the range, you can change the uh, opacity, the power and everything. That's pretty cool. And you can also offset it as well. And I've got the color as a little orangish sort of glow to it. And the inactive shadow is different, so... You can have a different color, so I can have it a bit darker, I can have it white as well. So it looks a bit weird, but it is what it is. So if you want to change that, that's pretty cool. Now here's something that I just changed recently. I had the opacity of Windows, which is the, which is where you can see the background. I had this on 85, um, because it looks really nice, but when you use it, it, it just gets a bit annoying. I mean, it's really cool that you can see the background. Uh, let's go ahead and ch turn the blur off. I think I actually do like it with the blur off. Might actually keep that. Um, but it just gets a bit annoying when you're watching YouTube or something like that. Uh, I mean, it looks nice, but uh, it can get a bit annoying. So I've just put this on one. And that means you won't be able to see anything through the windows that you're focused on. The other thing is you can change the opacity of inactive windows as well, so that's that. And if you full screen windows, you will get uh, a different opacity as well, so you can change it to having it all on. That looks pretty cool. And you've got dim as well, so if you've got this one true, uh, it means it's actually going to dim the inactive windows, which is also something that's really, really cool. And... I mean, that looks pretty cool. I don't know if I want to keep that on. Now, the biggest um, thing that makes this a bit different uh, compared to the tiling window managers is that uh, on, on Wayland, as far as I know right now, is that uh, it has animations. And uh, you can probably see them right now. I'm, I'm using my um, trackpad and moving through workspaces. And if I reopen up the windows, they pop in and out. You can change the size and everything. And it has delays and everything because I've added that. Um, and you have animations for all, a lot of things. You've got custom curves over here, which you want to define. Uh, you want to copy mine, you can. Um, the default curve is very boring. It's just very simple. It's very boring. I've just used this one. And number two <clears throat> for working, going from one workspace to another. So as you can see, if I go from one to another, it does sort of bounce just a little bit at the end, which is really cool. Um, so you've got uh, animations for so many things you've got windows which is general window animations you've got windows popping coming in windows popping out moving windows from uh that's not actually i think that's this uh it's when you got move it from 
one place to another like this and when they move so that's that uh, you've got the border now this just means it's gonna change the border and depending on which way you focus and you got the border angle which is what i showed you uh, just a bit earlier you got fading in and out so that's i'm assuming this as well and also it's the opacity when it fades in when you focus on a different window and the fade switch is this as well um, now if you put the default curve on as you can see it's just it's like not even having it on but with this one you can actually see it fading in and out so that's pretty cool uh, you got the dim thingy so and then you have the workspaces when it goes to one workspace to another uh, resize on border which is uh, actually resizing windows and look at this i mean uh, this is very cool you can do this on sway but you can do it on here as well you can grab the corners uh, if it's floating you can do the same so i can go ahead and drag this about and i've got the curve on that so that's why it's showing a bit really otherwise it happens really quickly uh you go that's a re and you got uh, resize manual resizing which is window uh which is basically this um now i disable the logo and stuff because when i turn it on i want to go straight into the wallpaper it looks really cool and uh this is the window layout configuration i didn't really bother with that uh new is master which is uh, something else and you got the wax uh workspace it's why which is i'm using three fingers right now and it goes to one to another now if you go into animations you can actually have slide which is the other way around uh, but i like it on vertical because i'm scrolling up and down and it just feels a bit more uh you've got the uh, mouse sensitivity you've got all the, some uh, bindings down here i've got my wolfy configuration up and that um fades in and out as well but it doesn't have opacity so uh, it doesn't matter that's okay you've got volume control and brightness control and stuff and if you go all the way down here you've got some window rules which is i've just turned this one off but if you go in extra archiver it will pop up as a floating window and um, i want to show you so these are the uh, stuff that um, opens when i lo log into the window manager so i log into it from the tty it goes straight in and you open up windows and you can actually have it configured to so that, that it puts them in certain places and moves windows about on certain certain workspaces as well so that when you open it it's like you've never really left it and that's really really cool um but we've got the wallpaper which is using a uh, sway background but i showed you this one uh which if you have just unticked it but you can have live wallpapers so if you want that uh that's pretty cool and you've got something like this which is really cool one of that oh, um <clears throat> and you know it, it, it i mean it's really cool it, it works i've just stopped using it because it gets really stuttery and it just taxes the system uh so i've stopped using that uh, i do prefer a more fluid experience um and that's basically it you know uh, i've got this thing uh, which is something that they recommended when using the xtg desktop portal for hyperland uh, because i'm using obs to record this which is really cool um if i go and uh, show you the uh, way by uh, you got way by so i'm using way by right now uh, i know that you've got different status bars which seems to work a lot better on here but i don't really need to it seems to be working fine you can change the volume and you've got the brightness and i mean you know you've got the basic stuff you've got cpus and you've got the uh, calendar now i just haven't figured out one thing and that is it seems to be behind the main windows and i've tried messing about with it i can't get that sorted out so we'll just leave it it's a minor no big issue now hyperland is still in beta software so it's not really complete and I have run into, run into an issue, which is if you're using GIMP and you have two now opened up and if I drag something into GIMP, it will just turn, it will crash Hyperland. So it goes back to the TTY. So it's not perfect. Uh, you know, it has its own uh, issues and everything, but, uh, but for the most part, it's working. And I've been using it for the past few weeks. I've been messing around with it. I've been changing my theme and stuff like that. And you know, I have to say, if you don't 
if you still do, you don't use it, I do recommend uh, that you give it a look. It is really, really nice. And I moved over from Sway to this, uh, mainly because it has grounded corners. <laughs> but it, it came with a whole bunch of other things as well. So I've, um, uh, it's very easy to configure. It's really cool. Um, yeah, if you guys have any, have any questions, just ask me in the comments. I'll see you guys in another video.